Hi, this is E, uh, otherwise known as Erica, and I have been asked to join the uh, We Are Freedom Fighters collaborative effort, and I'm very excited about that. Um, I have a, a channel of my own as well, so this is just a, a great way for me to expand and to meet some new people and hopefully bring uh, another, another um, insight, another... Um, peek into the life of someone with an eating disorder. So um, I was first anorexic when I was in uh, high school. I was a freshman in high school and that lasted not terribly long uh, because I slipped into bulimia and stayed bulimic um, on and off for about 15 years. And then when I met my husband, I told him about, you know, everything and, and my past and my history with eating disorders because I was still struggling from bulimia. And he, he was so kind. He went and bought books and he paid for me to go to therapy because I had never been to therapy. Um, so after I had been going to therapy for about six months, I tapered off and I still still use behaviors quite often. But however, they slowly, slowly, slowly begin to just trickle away. And then I was completely recovered for about four years, three to four years, which was amazing because to everyone who says, you know, you can't, you can never re recover. There's the ED voice was so minuscule and so quiet. I just I didn't care. I didn't weigh myself. I didn't, you know, it it, it didn't matter to me. And uh, then in August of '07, I became sick with Legionnaire's disease and uh, coccidiodomycosis, otherwise known as belly fever, um, pneumonias at the same time. The medication for the valley fever is an antifungal, and it just killed me. I lost my appetite, and I lost, uh, I ended up losing a large portion of weight. Now, I ended up with pleurisy because the pneumonia was so extensive that the only way that I could deal with that pain was to not eat because it was something I could control. I can't control what goes on with my lung. And I fell into anorexia um, hardcore and um, started having panic attacks and became very depressed and uh, started therapy again, started to see a dietitian again. And I quit for a short amount of time in between because I thought, Oh, I'm doing good. I, I think I'm okay. And I lost more weight. And um, that's why I think it's, it's you need to listen to those around you also because I th we want to be recovered in a day. And it takes a process. Right now, I am still overcoming it, but I am at a, um, a healthier weight, which is good. It's still a, a challenge, but I am fighting it. And um, so that's a little bit about my background with my eating disorders. For fun stuff, I, uh, I have a dog that uh, adopted from the pound and I've trained her to be a um, AKC canine good citizen. So she's a therapy dog and we visit a hospice and rehab center uh, once every other week. And I love that. I also have a line of jewelry that I design and create, and that's a that's a very very good um, good coping mechanism for me because it's therapeutic, and there's a product at the end. I paint also. I used to play classical piano, saxophone. I, our family was was pretty artsy. Um, <sighs> What do I like? My likes and dislikes? I like to be home. I'm a homebody. I'm not big into going out. We have some good friends and 
maybe on a Friday or Saturday night, we'll go hang out and do a little bonfire with them, and that's about the extent of it. Um, that's, that's me, in a little nutshell. So I'm looking forward to um, doing more videos. I will be uploading on Tuesdays. So um, I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks. Take care. Bye.